It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Luke Bryan and, you know, the 12 days of prank Smith as we've been talking about going on between him and his wife, as always. Um, she videotaped somebody stealing his truck out of their garage. Now, obviously, they she knew who it was. It was all a setup, and they had him going for a little bit until... Uh, and by the way, it looked like it was filmed at a different time, so not to alert him about the 12 days of Pranksmas. Uh, I don't know when it was filmed, but he seemed, um, you know, upset and, and like he thought it was real. Then he got the word that it was all fake, and then uh, his buddy who took it asked him if he could use it uh, as a raffle for his E3 Ranch Foundation to help veterans and to fight human trafficking. And Luke Bryan uh, said, of course. And oh. his truck is up for grabs, Candy. So oh my, I love that. And even if it was a setup, even if Luke was in on it, uh, it's all good. It's being used for a charitable foundation. And you could win Luke Bryan's truck. How about that? Good? Love it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Wallen, his Dangerous album, get this, is the first ever in history, country or otherwise, to spend 100 weeks in the top 10 of Billboard's top 200 album chart. Okay. okay? So almost two years, he's four weeks away from two straight years of being in the top 10 with this album on the Billboard album chart, and it'll be, it's the first ever to do that for 100 weeks. Wow. Just amazing. He's uh, it really is. on top of the world. And our top 96 countdown of the year, uh, just a reminder, happens uh, December 31st, New Year's Eve, and again, New Year's Day, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, make sure you're tuning in for the biggest songs of the year here on My Country 96.1. Um, TMZ had pictures of Sharon Osbourne out shopping yesterday. Oh. Yeah, I think that's her way of telling us she's okay. She's you know? okay. If she can shop, she's okay. Still don't know what happened. They're calling it a medical emergency. They have not talked about what happened. I have not seen it, uh, but unless I missed it. Uh, but she was out shopping. That's good news. Um, Sylvester Stallone lists his house he just bought nine months ago for $22.5 million. Oh. I guess it just wasn't up to his standards. I, I don't Got know. tired of it. Oh, my the color God. color of the sun wasn't what he wanted in one of the windows. I don't know. Nine months after buying it, it wow. is uh, up for sale. Make someone do that. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much paperwork and legwork involved in Signing. purchasing a house. Oh, and, yes. Hey, it's nine months later. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, either. Willie McGinnis, the NFL player, he's won, I think he won three rings with the Patriots, maybe more. Um, he's been an analyst on TV. He was arrested. There is video on TMZ of him and a bunch of friends beating down a man in a club. I think it was in L.A. Um, I do he, not approve of beating down a man. Um, uh, no, you don't approve of it, of course. Uh, he's... Uh, Arrested, released on bail, and yeah, will face uh, charges. Uh, what I, I is suppose. Going on? I don't know. They they attack, and now one of the the guy must have said something, but still, the guy was sitting in a booth, just like sitting, eating, or whatever, and they came up and started beating on him. So, not sure. Goodness. Not sure. Yep. Uh, Amber Heard will now pay just one million dollars to Johnny Depp. Okay. Right. She owed like a lot more than she that. Did. Um, he agreed to lower it to a million, and he's going to take the million and give it to different charities. Good. Now, her sentence, you know, the decision against her could still be used if, you know, if they have other issues with each other. The judge could go back and, you know, say, no, you got to pay the 20 million or whatever it was that you were originally going to pay. So anyway, now it's a million. And finally, a woman broke into Robert De Niro's New York City home. Um, she was arrested for stealing Christmas gifts from under the tree. Now, De Niro and his family were home. He caught her, called the cops. The cop, She was there. The cops arrested her. And, you know, she didn't run out or whatever. Well, the she cops... has a long history of this sort of behavior. This is yes. not her first go-round. No, she's been doing and this. And she for... got in through an open door somehow. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, and why, you know, not that it's his fault, but how De Niro would have an open door while he's well, sleeping. Well, when you live right? in a big house, maybe there's a lot of doors, and you can't keep track of which one uh, is locked. I guess so. Uh, but luckily, everyone's okay. Yes. Uh, tonight on TV, CBS has the Mariah Carey Christmas special. Nice. NBC with the 2018 uh, Grinch movie. I guess it's the movie. I don't know. It's to Dr. Seuss's Grinch. It says 2018. Uh, ABC with Santa Claus is coming to town from 1970, Candy. Listen, that's my favorite of all. Now, my is that the animated show of all where they tell you why Santa has a beard and where he grew up and how his everything happened and why there's Christmas. I love it. That's ABC he meets tonight. Mrs. Santa Claus. It's fabulous. All right. Can you mention that to Brian? Have him get the hot cocoa ready and be ready for it, I've please? I've seen it once already this season. I will see it again. All right. And Fox with another edition of the Lego Masters show. And there you have it. Your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we're going to have another chilly day. We'll be in the, uh, I guess, uh, low 40s or so. But looks to be dry. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.